and to um, yeah work on those postures as well. So it's all about the balance again. Um, let's see, is there anything else about this practice for now? Yeah, so it's 26 postures. Uh, all postures done twice. So the first pose you get to learn what's happening and the second pose uh, the body already knows. So it's a memory, muscle memory, and then you get to more experience, maybe go a little deeper and uh, also this way it gets more repetitive, more meditative. Um, and we'll do a breathing exercise at the beginning, at the end to expand the lungs and uh, to clean out the lungs at the end and just know that whenever you need to you can sit down just skip a pose this can also be a challenge so if you know you're someone that likes to do all the poses maybe challenge yourself to skip one pose in the standing series skip one pose in the floor series um yeah and because this one will uh, be without mirrors for most of you and you have me to look at I'm not sure what the screen does it could be that it flips me around so that I'm actually when I say right I'm going left but maybe just try to follow what I'm saying so we're all on the same page so we most often we start with the right side and then the left um, hmm. Yeah, and let's just experience this journey. It's Hatha Yoga. So also the Bikram series, it's called Bikram because it's this series that this person, Mr. Bikram, maybe you saw the um, documentary, which is not sure if it's recommended because it's not so fun to watch, but it's interesting for sure. <laughs> and I'm in a way, I'm super grateful that he brought this to the West because so many people have had the benefits and have learned so much about this yoga and about themselves. And then again, there's also the flip side. So I think if you look at all traditions, all gurus, all teachers, you always have to return back to your own inner voice and your own inner wisdom and not follow, you know, never follow till the end. And just so I think even this that this happened and what he did, if you know he was not, um, there was a lot of um, misconduct. Um, I'm searching for the English word. Like in his teachings, there was hundreds of people in LA and he would uh, harass women actually and even more than that. So there's a lot of court cases against him. He fled the country. Right now he's in Spain, I think, and he's still teaching the training and people are still going there, which is really weird. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's a reason to it that he also is showing the world this other side, like the ego just went to just got lost. So we have to keep practicing, even if we're a yoga teacher, even if we get really famous, keep practicing coming back to the breath. So that's a good one to conclude with. Um, we'll start standing on the mat. And um, well, if you haven't done this practice before, it's good to first watch a couple of times so you know what's happening to the arms and neck. Uh, the camera for the zoom is not quite far enough so you can see my arms overhead. So I will just do this closer to the camera in the live, I think it's visible. So I'll just show you uh, how we uh, use the arms. So if we later on in the second pose, we'll do the arms overhead and interlace the fingers, release the index fingers and cross the thumbs. So it's this, it's temple mudra. If you can see it. So this grip is what we use a lot. And then there's sometimes where we just only cross the thumbs, but most often it's interlaced fingers, thumbs cross and index fingers up. Yeah. <laughs> so first we start with the breathing. For the breathing, we bring the feet together. Big to stretch. Heels are slightly apart and let me know if you can't hear me very well or if anything is going on with the sound. And first take a moment here to just stand on the mat, feel the feet on the mat. If you like you can close your eyes for a moment and 
Notice the natural sway of the body, going from right to left, front to back. And then contract your thigh muscles towards each other. Contract your butt cheeks. Lift the kneecaps up. And draw your navel in and up. And notice what happens to the sway. So this is what you can use in all of the standing poses. Just pressing the heels in the mat, contracting the thighs, contracting the butt and draw the navel in. And I will remind you in each pose, so don't worry. <laughs> and then open the eyes with a soft gaze. Interlace your fingers, crush your thumbs, knuckles under the chin. So this is for the breathing. Relax your shoulders. If you haven't done this, then just watch before you join in. We'll do this 10 times and we'll do this twice. So twice, 10 times. So that's time enough to join in and to learn. Again, contract your thighs and butt cheek, cheeks and draw the navel in. And then we begin with an inhale through the nose and the elbows wide and up towards the ceiling. And exhale out of the mouth, bring the chin up. And the elbows away from the chest. You look at the ceiling. Inhale, slowly bring your chin down, elbows wide and up. Look forward. Exhale, open the mouth, contract the throat. So you hear the ha sound coming out of the throat. Inhale, slow movement, slow breath, synchronizing the movement with the breath. Exhale out of the mouth, shoulders down, elbows away from the chest. <sighs> Inhale, knuckles against the chin, chin resist, elbows widen up, look forward. Exhale out of the mouth, knuckles against the chin, chin resist, wrists together, elbows away from the chest. Good. Inhale, slow movement, slow breath. Feel the ribcage expand from side to side, front to back. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, slow movement, spine straight. Contract the butt cheeks, lengthen through the top of the head. Exhale, slowly head back. Keep your spine straight. Contract the butt cheeks to support your lower spine. Inhale, slow movements, slow breath. Contract your thighs and press your heels into the floor. Exhale, slowly move the air out of the throat. We're expanding the lungs and warming up the body from inside out. Inhale, knuckles against the chin, elbows up. Feel the stretch in the fingers in your armpits. Exhale. Good. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for the last one in this first set. Take an extra sip of air, draw the navel in and up. Exhale, shoulders down, slowly press all the air out of the lungs, empty the lungs completely, draw the navel in, change. Bring the arms next to the body, breathe in and out through the nose. So in each second set, I will not do the pose with you, so I can also give you instructions and watch what you're doing. Everything is going fine. So for the second set, same breath practice. So you can interlace the fingers under the chin, relax your shoulders, contract your thighs, butt cheeks, and begin. Inhale, elbows widen up, fill up the lungs from the top to the bottom, draw the navel in. Exhale, shoulders down, elbows away from the chest, bring your chin up, elbows in line with the shoulders. Inhale, slow movement, slow breath, fill up the lungs, Draw the navel in. Exhale, shoulders down, elbows away from the chest. Inhale, knuckles against the chin, chin resists. Elbows widen up, feel stretch in your fingers. Exhale, shoulders down, elbows away from the chest. 
That's it. Keep your chest up, navel in. Inhale, slow movement, slow breath. Take your time. Warming up the body from inside out. Exhale, shoulders down, elbows away from the chest. Nice. Squeeze the thighs. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, slow movement, slow breath. Fill up the lungs from side to side, front to back. Exhale, contract the throat to control the breath coming out of the lungs. Inhale, only the arms, neck and head are moving. Your entire body stays still. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Exhale. Slowly press the air out of the lungs. So notice that you're not back bending, keeping the spine straight. Inhale. Two more in the second set. Fill up the lungs, draw the navel in. Exhale. Slowly move all the air out of the lungs. Look up, you can see the ceiling, elbows away from the chest. Good. Inhale. Slow movement. Slow breath for the last one, maybe the deepest one for today. Take an extra sip of air. Exhale, slowly press all the air out of the lungs. Empty your lungs completely. Change. Arms next to the body. Breathe in and out through the nose. From now on, we breathe in and out through the nose. And just something I'd like to add, like usually this practice, um, this used to be, uh, the dialogue used to be very strict. So push, push, push to your maximum, go to your limits. Uh, that's not how I, t I teach and how the studios here in the Netherlands that I know where I work teach. So it's more therapeutic and it's more with a soft dialogue. Because a lot of people who practice Bikram Yoga already are people that push to their limits and we don't want to push past our limits. So it's just a little more soft in that way. And I like that. So we'll move now to Adhashandrasana half moon pose. Padahasasana hands to feet pose. Feet together, big toe stretch. Bring your arms sideways overhead. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers and crush your thumbs. Temple mudra. Bring the elbows towards each other. For straight arms next to your face. And squeeze your thighs together. Butt cheeks, inhale, lift your chest and reach up. Slowly move your body to the right. Come back to the center and stretch to the left. So we're stretching the sides of the rib cage. And every time you come back in the center, you lengthen up to the ceiling or to the sky and then stretch high right, high left. So it's really about making length here, lengthening the spine, creating some more length between the vertebrae and then slowly move to a stop in the center. Half moon pose with a stretch on the left side of the body. Squeeze your inner thighs together, inhale, lift your chest, arms, hands up and slowly move your body in a straight line to the right without moving the elbows, without moving the knees. So you keep your arms and legs straight. Nice. Right shoulder forward, two shoulders are parallel to the front of the mat, left hip forward, two hips are parallel. So it's like your body is in between two glass plates. Chin away from the chest, long neck, long throat, so you can easily breathe. And squeeze your hands together, fingers in the backs of the hands, press the left heel down to create a tremendous stretch on the entire left side of the body. Inhale through the left heel all the way up to the wrists and stretch further over, out and down to the right. Bring the hips to the left. Change. Come back to the center. And squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, lift up, lengthen towards the sky and slowly move your body in a straight line to the left. Without moving the elbows, without moving the knees, straight arms, straight legs. And squeeze your hands together, fingers in the backs of the hands. Here, left shoulder forward, two shoulders parallel, right hip forward, two hips parallel. 
Press right heel into the floor. We create a trend stretch on the entire right side of the body. And inhale through the right heel all the way up to your wrist. Stretch over out and down to the left. Hips to the right. Change. Back to your center. Bring the arms slightly forward, two centimeters in front of the face. And lift your chin up. Look at your thumbs. Look at the ceiling or the sky. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, lift your chest, arms, hands up and slowly move your body back. So we're backward bending, send your hips forward, press your heels into the floor, squeeze your butt cheeks, look back and go back. Point back, keep breathing for four, move back for three, point back for two, and point where you're looking at for one. Change, slowly move back to your center. Squeeze your inner thighs together, inhale, stretch up and move forward from the hips. Keep reaching forward so you keep your spine straight, if the spine starts rounding, then bend your knees, hands on the floor. When your hands are on the floor, the fingers touch the floor, then bend your knees right and left. You can lift your heels off the mat right and left, relax your neck. So this is just a warming up. Opening up the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, and opening up your lower back. So you can also bend both knees at the same time if you like. Just keep breathing through the nose. And then come to stillness. Bend your knees as much as you need to to bring your stomach on your thighs. Elbows behind your calf muscles. Pinky side by side. If there's room left, fingers under the heels. Lift your hips up and roll the weights to the balls of the feet. Draw the navel in, stretch your chest to the knees. And roll the weight forward, lift the hips up. So we're stretching the body from the heels to the hips, hips to the neck. So the entire back side of the body. Four steps, your stomach on your thighs, chest to your knees, elbows behind your calf muscles, lift the hips up. Change, bring the arms next to the ears, keep your knees bent to come up with a straight spine. And turn your hands out, arms by your side. Breathe through the nose. So we stretch the spine to all four directions, waking up the spine today, this morning. Second set will already feel different. And turn your hands out, arms sideways overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Straight arms next to your face. And squeeze your thighs together, inhale, stretch up and slowly move your body in a straight line to the right without moving the elbows, without moving the knees. Good. So just keep going. Squeeze the hands together, fingers in the backs of the hands. And press the left heel into the floor, so you create a deeper stretch on the entire left side of the body. Chin away from the chest, long neck, long throat, so you can breathe more easily. Good. Squeeze your thighs together, navel in, lift your chest up. And inhale, lift the left ribcage up and stretch further out over and down to the right and press your hips to the left. Change. Slowly move back to your center. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, lift your chest, arms, hands up and slowly move your body in a straight line to the left. Without moving the elbows, without moving the knees. Good. And here the left shoulder forward, two shoulders parallel. Maybe the right hip forward to your hips parallel. Squeeze hands together, fingers in the backs of the hands. Anchor your right heel into the floor. Tremendous stretch on the right side of the body. Inhale, lift the right rib cage up one more and stretch out over and down to the left. Press your hips to the right. Change. Slowly come back to your center. And arms slightly forward in front of the face. Lift your chin up, look up. And squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, lift your chest, arms, hands up and slowly start to bend back. 
Contract your butt cheeks to support your lower spine. Lift from the chest on each inhale and bring the arms closer to the ears on each exhale. Go as far as you can still easily breathe. Go back, look back, point back, change and slowly come back to your center. Beautiful. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, lift your chest, come forward from the hips, stretch forward to keep a straight spine. If you feel the spine starts rounding, bend your knees. Nice, Yurina, beautiful. Hands on the floor. Now, without a warming up, we bend the knees as much as we need to, to bring the stomach on the thighs. Elbows behind your calf muscles, pinky side by side. Maybe fingers under the heels. Lift the hips up and roll the weight forward. So if you feel the stretch on the entire backside of the body, relax the neck. Look at your ankles. Yes, that's it, Rishma. So you can look at the ankles, relax the neck, roll the weight forward, squeeze the stomach on the thighs. And eventually when the legs are straight, then you can stretch the top of your head down to the floor. Change. Arms next to the ears, stretch out and forward, keep the knees bent to keep a straight spine. Turn the hands out, arms by your side. Good. Second set is Utkatasana, or second pose is Utkatasana, chair poses, feet together. Take one point of focus in front of you and step the right foot out to the right, your hip distance. So it's about two fists in between the feet. Turn the big toes slightly in, so the insides of the feet are parallel to each other. And then stretch your arms forward. The hands are no higher than the shoulders. Pull the shoulders down and back. Draw the navel in. Lift your chest, inhale. And bend your knees, sit down way behind you. Like there's a chair standing behind you, weight is in the heels. That's it. Press the toes into the floor, draw the navel in and lift the chest. Slide back bend in the lower back. Maybe you can sit down a little lower and keep the same distance between your big toes, heels, knees and thumbs. Change. Slowly come back up. Second part, keep the arms straight. Come high up on the tippy tippy toes. So the heels are above the toes, high, tall legs, like a ballerina. And inhale, lift your chest, and bend your knees and slowly come down, keep your spine parallel to the wall behind you. So you stand high up on the toes, and lift your heels up, lift your knees up, lift your chest up, lift the crown of your head up. Keep your arms straight and strong, and slowly come out of the pose, change, press the floor away. Third and slowest part, come on the balls of your feet and squeeze your thighs together. One big thigh. So let's just show you, if you're not familiar with this, thighs together. Inhale, lift your chest and slowly come down as slow as you can and as low as you can with a straight spine. So if you notice you're leaning more forward, stay up higher. Hips no lower than the knees. Keep lifting from the hips. Draw the navel in to contract your abdominals. That's it. Strain strong arms. Good, Susanna. Inhale. Squeeze your thighs together and slowly press the floor away to come back up with control. So a lot of upper leg strength. Step your feet together, arms by your side. Breathe through the nose. Second set, so the body knows what's happening now. Step your feet apart, hip distance, right foot to the right. Inside of the feet parallel, so big toes in slightly. And stretch your arms forward. Fingers, hands no higher than the shoulders. That's it. And squeeze your... Inhale, lift your chest and bend your knees, sit down way behind you. you. Pull your hips to the wall behind you. So this is without a straight spine. So you can lean back, weight is in the heels, that's it. Press the toes into the floor, lift your chest up. So slide back bend here. Keep your arms straight and strong, squeeze the fingers together. 
change and slowly come back up. Second part is with a straight spine and high up on the toes. So stand up high on the tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Heels are on top of the toes. Inhale, lift your chest, bend your knees and slowly come down. Keep your spine straight. So draw the navel in so you're contracting all the muscles around your waist. So lean back a little more, Rishma, so you keep your spine straight. Yes, almost, that's it, good. Change, press the floor, we come back up. Third and slowest part. Come on the balls of the feet and squeeze your thighs together. One big thigh. And inhale, lift your chest, bend your knees and slowly come down. As slow as you can, as low as you can. Knees point down. The lower you go, the more the heels come off the mat. Keep your spine straight. Nice, Rachel. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Inhale. Squeeze your thighs together and slowly come back up with control. That's it. Step the feet together. Arms by your side. So last warming up pose here. Warming up the big thigh muscles is Eagle Pose, Garudasana. Feet together, big toes touch, arms sideways overhead, hands together. Slowly move your right arm under the left, cross out your elbows, your wrists, thumbs are in front of the nose. And inhale, lift your chest, bend your knees and sit down low. And bring the weight into the left foot. And lift your right leg over the left. Squeeze your thighs together. Toes behind your heel. And down towards the heel. If you can't hook your toes, that's fine. You just point your toes down to the heel. Pull the right hip back. So two hips are next to each other. Elbows, knees in one line underneath your nose. Maybe you can sit down one lower. And lift your chest. Also slight back bend here. Good. Change. Arms overhead, hands touch. And bring the left arm under the right. Hello, family member of Susanna. You can join with the yoga if you like. <laughs> and she's gone. Inhale, lift the chest. Bend your knees, sit down low. <laughs> bring the weight into the right foot. Lift your left leg over the right. Squeeze your thighs together. Left toe behind the right. So now we're balancing on the right foot. That's it. Pull left hip back. Lift the chest up. Slight back bend. Maybe you can sit down one lower. Lift the chest again. Pull elbows down. Change. Arms overhead. Hands together. Immediately the second set. So bring your right arm under the left. Cross at the elbows. Wrist. Thumbs are in front of the nose. So bring the feet together. That's it. Inhale, lift the chest. Bend your knees, sit down low. Weight in the left foot. Bring right leg over the left. Squeeze your thighs. Toes behind your heel if you can. Good. And then pull the left hip back. Or the right hip back, excuse me. Lift the chest, pull the elbows down. Look one point in front of you. So you can bring the elbows more down your in. Change. Arms over head, hands together, left arm under the right, cross at the elbows, the wrist, thumbs are in front of the nose. Inhale, lift your chest, bend your knees, sit down low, and bring the weight into the right foot. Lift your left leg over the right, squeeze your thighs together, toes behind your heel if you can, if not just point your toes to the heel, and then pull the left hip back. So knees move more to the left and come more to the center. Maybe you lose your toes behind your heel, that's fine. It's more important to bring the hips in alignment. And lift your chest, pull the elbows down, look one point in front of you. Change. Arms overhead, hand palms stretch, and float your arms back down by your side. Good, nice concentration. So Dandayama Janishirasana, standing head to knee pose. 
So in this post there's four different stages and you don't have to go to the last stage, never, only if your body is ready. And if this is your first time, also you don't have to kick out in the pose. So just keep that in mind. So we start by focusing on the left leg, making it really strong. Press the left heel into the floor, contract your left thigh muscle, lift the kneecap up and draw your navel in. And lift your right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, ankle below the knee, flex your toes up. So you're using really the strength of the left leg to keep us balancing, this is the foundation, and also to lift the right leg up. And inhale, lift your chest, and slowly round over your bent leg, reach your hands towards your foot, if you have the space, interlace the fingers under the ball of the foot, if not, just keep reaching, but make sure your standing leg is still straight and strong. If you have the foot, then press your right heel down. Keep your standing leg straight. If your standing leg stays straight and strong, then kick your right heel forward. And if you've done this before, make sure you draw the navel in wherever you are to support your lower spine. Flex the toes towards you. If both legs are straight, then you can bend your elbows next to your calf muscle. To come out of the pose, change first, straighten the arms, and bend your right knee, lift the chest, right foot down. So we come out exactly the same way as we came in. Right foot into the floor. Contract your right thigh muscle, right butt cheek, draw your navel in, left leg up. So although you're lifting the left leg, you keep focusing on the right leg. That's your foundation. It needs to be strong. Inhale, lift your chest. Slowly round your upper body over your bent leg. Reach your hands towards the foot. If you have enough space, interlace the fingers under the ball of the foot. If not, just keep reaching. Press the left heel down, creating space in the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. If standing leg is still straight, and this is not your first time in this pose, then kick left heel forward. Straightening left leg parallel to the floor. Just keep breathing. <laughs> Draw the navel in, support your lower spine. Both legs are straight, then bend your elbows down next to the calf muscle. Change, slowly reverse, back out of the pose, step by step. Breathe in and out through the nose, so the heart rate goes up in the pose, so it's really good. And then slowly with the breath, you bring the heart rate back down. And remember, you can always take a break. So second set, left foot into the floor. Contract your left thigh muscle and butt cheek, and lift your right leg up. Thigh parallel to the floor, ankle below the knee, toes up to the ceiling. Good. Inhale, lift your chest. Slowly round your upper body over your bent leg. Reach your hands towards your foot. If you have enough space today, interlace fingers under the ball of the foot. Keep the ankle below the knee and keep focusing on your standing leg. Press the big toe and heel onto the floor. That's it. Standing leg still straight. Then kick your heel forward. Straightening the right leg parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Wherever you are, draw your navel in to support your lower spine. Flex your toes. If both legs are straight, then bend your elbows next to your calf muscle. Keep focusing forward. Draw your navel in, that's it. Change and slowly reverse back out of the pose step by step. And losing your balance is just part of the practice. Perfect. You're doing really well. <laughs> Other side, right foot into the floor. Contract your right thigh muscle and butt cheek. Draw your navel in, lift your left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, ankle below the knee, flex toes up to the ceiling. Keep the balance in the standing leg and inhale, lift your chest. Slowly round your upper body over your bent leg. Reach your hands towards your foot. If you have enough space, interlace the fingers under the ball of the foot. Focus on the standing leg. If you have the grip, standing leg is still straight. Then kick your heel forward, straightening left leg parallel to the floor. Keep your standing leg straight. That's it. Good, Irina. Contact your right thigh muscle. 
press the heel down, boat legs straight, then bend your elbows down next to your calf muscle for three, two, one, change. And slowly reverse back out of the pose, step <clears throat> by step. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. Big inhale, big exhale. And from standing on one leg, forward bend, we go to standing on one leg, backward bend. In Dandayama Danurasana, standing bow, pulling pose. We've done this one before as well. So feet together. It's also called dancer pose sometimes. Left foot into the floor. Contract your left thigh muscle, your butt cheek. Draw the navel in. And lift your right arm up, hand palm forward. So the entire left side of the body is straight and strong. Reach your right arm back. Hand palm out to the side. Thumb is on the top. Grab your right foot on the inside. All five fingers together at your ankle. Knees next to each other. So two hips are on one line. So here the right shoulder already moves back. The right hip stays forward. Inhale, reach up. Stretch the right knee down and slowly kick your foot back and up into your hand. Take your time. First you feel the back bend. If you can't kick back any further, then reach and look over the fingertips. So your right knee is disappearing behind your right hip. Left shoulder moves forward, right shoulder moves back. Two shoulders move away from each other. Keep reaching, keep kicking. 50% reaching, 50% kicking. Lift your chin away from the chest. Keep the back bend, lift your chest. Reach forward, kick back for three, two, one, change. Slowly come back out of the pose. Other side, right foot into the floor. Contract your right thigh muscle, butt cheek, lift your right arm up, hand palm forward. And reach your left arm all the way back, thumb on the top. And grab your left foot on the inside. All five fingers at the ankle. Knees next to each other, so two hips are in one line. And inhale, reach up, stretch up, left knee down, and kick your foot back and up into your hand. First, feel your back bend. If you can't kick back any further, reach your right arm forward. Look over the fingertips. And then kick back. Knee is disappearing behind the left hip. Keep your standing leg strong. Press the big toe and heel into the floor. 50% reaching, 50% kicking. Left shoulder is disappearing behind the right. Moving away from the right shoulder. Reach forward, kick back. Belly down, chest up. Reach forward. Kick back for three, two, one, change. And slowly reverse back out of the pose. Breathe through your nose. Feel your feet on the mat. Focus one point ahead of you. Second set will count from 20 to one. So you know exactly where you are and can divide your energy from beginning to end. So left foot into the floor, contract your left thigh muscle, lift your left arm up, hand palm forward, bring your right arm back, reach it all the way back and grab your right foot on the inside. All five fingers at the ankle, knees next to each other, that's it. And inhale, reach up <clears throat> and slowly kick your foot back and up into your hand. First feel the back bend. If you can't kick back any further, reach your left fingers forward and look over the fingertips. So try to look forward instead of down. The body will follow where the eyes go. So reach forward, kick back. Contract your standing leg muscle. So strong left leg, lift your kneecap up. Reach forward, kick back. Lift your chest up. Reach forward, kick back for five, four, Three, two, one, change, and slowly come out of the pose. I forgot to count from 20 to one, so we'll do this on the other side. One more chance. Right foot into the floor, contract your right thigh muscle, lift your right arm up, hand palm forward, and reach your left arm back. 
thumb on the top, grab your foot on the inside. If you can't grab the foot on the inside, you can also grab it on the outside. That's it. Knees next to each other, two hips in one line. And inhale, reach up, create length. Stretch your left knee down and slowly kick back for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change. Wow, beautiful concentration. Everyone stayed in the balance. Super nice. So come to the back of the mat. <clears throat> Bring your feet together, big to stretch. Right through the nose. And look one point ahead of you. Tulandasana, balancing stick. It's a short but strong pose. Bring your arms sideways overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Straight arms next to your face. And step the right foot forward, left toes off the mat, balance. But this is where the pose begins. Inhale, lift your chest. And then move your body out over and forward. Stretch your left toes back. Keep the arms next to the ears. Reach forward, point back. Contract your right thigh muscle. Look underneath the pinky fingers and reach your left toes back. Change and slowly step back. Step the left foot forward, right toes off the mat, balance. Inhale, lift your chest. Move your body out over and forward. Reach your right toes back. Reach forward, stretch back. Stretch your right knee. Look underneath the pinky fingers, forward, and point your right toes back. Change, and slowly step back. Turn your hands out, arms by your side. Second set, turn your hands out, arms sideways overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Step your right foot forward, left toes off the mat, balance. Inhale, lift your chest, move your body out over and forward. And reach your left toes back, so your capital letter T from the side. Beautiful, Yorina. Stretch forward, point your toes back, stretch your right knee. Reach forward, change, and slowly step back on the mat. So step your left foot forward, right toes off the mat, balance. Inhale, lift the chest, and move your body out over and forward. Reach forward, stretch back. Keep your standing legs straight and strong, draw the navel in. Reach forward, point your toes back, change. And slowly step back on your mat. Turn your hands out, arms by your side. Keep your eyes eye level so you keep your energy up. Arms can come down. Not sure if you're frozen, Susanna. Yeah, good, the so arms can come down. I thought, ah, oh, she's still there. <laughs> good, so if we're at the back of the mat, now we can turn to the left. So you come to the Long side of the mat, so you have room to step out to the right. And you're standing all the way at the left side of your mat. Okay, good. So separate leg stretching poses. Bring your arms sideways overhead, hands together. Take a big step, right foot out to the right, arms parallel to the floor. Bring your big toes inwards, so the insides of the feet are parallel to each other. And squeeze your thighs towards each other to begin with strong legs. Inhale, lift your chest. Come forward from the hips. Chin away from the chest, long neck. If you can't go any further, and reach your hands to your heels. If you can't reach your heels, then bend your knees. So you can bring the fingers underneath your heels. All five fingers of each hand, or all four fingers of each hand. That's it. So bend your knees more to grab the heels, Rishma. If you can, bend your knees. Also, if you have lo lower back issues, bend the knees more. And then roll the weight to the toes, lift the hips up, stretch your chest down. So the more we're stretching, 
the backs of the legs, the more you can stretch the chest down and lengthen the spine. Look in between your feet instead of behind you. Change, stretch your arms out to the side, stretch your chest forward to come up with a straight spine. Step your feet together, arms overhead, arms by your side. Second set. Arms overhead, hands touch. Big step, right foot out to the right, arms parallel to the floor. Big toes in slightly, insides of the feet are parallel to each other. Squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, lift your chest. Move forward from the hips, chin away from the chest. So keep looking forward to lengthen the neck. If you can't go any further, reach your hands to your heels. Roll the weight forward to the toes and lift the hips up. So your hips are on top of the ankles. So if you can't reach your heels, bend your knees a little more. So you can reach for it. That's it. So you feel more stretch in your back, in your th thighs, stretching the chest down. Eventually when the legs are straight, you can bend your elbows next to your calf muscles. And then the forehead might touch the floor. Change, stretch your arms out to the side and slowly come back up with a straight spine. Step your feet together, arms overhead, arms by your side. So next pose is triangle, trikonasana. We'll bring the heart rate one more up and then after this pose, we'll bring the heart rate more and more down. Arms overhead, hands together. Take a big step, right foot out to the right, arms parallel to the floor. So this is a wide step, might be wider than you want to, ankles below the wrists. Left toes slightly in, turn on the right heel toes to the front of your mat. And inhale, lift your chest and bend your right knee to sit down. Knee is on top of the ankle. And turn your hands to the side of the mat, to the front. And look over the left shoulder. On your exhale, move to the right. Right elbow and the inside of your right knee, left arm up. So you create a straight line, left leg, left rib cage. Maybe sit down a little lower. Press the right arm against the right knee. Reach the left arm up and look up to your left thumb. Change, come to the center. Straighten your right leg, turn your toes in and turn the left heel toes to the back of your mat. Inhale, lift your chest. Bend your left knee to sit down, knees on top of the ankle. So really try to sit down low, a lot of muscle strength, that's it. And turn your hands to the front of the mat, look to the right. On your exhale, move to the left. Left arm against the left knee on the inside, reach your right arm up. So the right hip turns in, right rib cage turns back. Straight line, right leg, right rib cage. Press the left arm against the left knee. Reach your right arm up and look up at your right thumb. Change. Come back to your center. Straighten the left leg. Turn your toes forward. Step your feet together. Arms overhead. Arms by your side. Come back to the breath to be in here and now, return to the heart rate, second set, arms overhead, hands together, take a big, big step, right foot out to the right, arms parallel to the floor, <clears throat> turn your left toes in, turn the right heel toes to the front of the mat, inhale, lift the chest, bend your right knee to sit down low. Turn your hands to the front of the mat, look to the left. On your exhale, move your body to the right. Right arm inside, right knee, left arm up. That's it. Press the outside of the left foot into the floor. Rotate the left rib cage back. Right hip turns in. Reach up. So without leaning on the floor, that's another triangle. 
So really using your core muscles as well. Change. Come back to your center. Straighten the right leg, turn the toes forward and in, and turn the left heel toes to the back of the mat. Turn your hands to the front, look over the right shoulder. On your exhale, move to the left. Left arm inside, left knee. And press the left arm against the left knee. Yes, nice, Rachel. That's it. Reach your uh, left arm up, right arm up, sorry. Yeah, so you can come up a little higher, Rishma. So the elbow against the knee. Yeah, that's it. So you're using more the core muscles, the thigh muscles. Still, you can come up a little higher. Straight line, left leg and right, left rib cage. Yes, that's it. Nice. Change. Come back to the center. Straighten left leg. Turn the toes in. Step your feet together. Arms overhead. Arms by your side. Yeah, so there's different forms of triangle also, different variations, also different variations of cobra, um, many poses. So sometimes it's different than you're used to. So you think, oh, but the pose needs to be like this. No, we do it a little different. <laughs> and it's just not, no right or wrong, it's using different muscles. Okay, standing separate, forehead to knee pose, feet together, big toe stretch. Arms sideways overhead, hands together, cross only the thumbs, so long fingers here. Step your right foot to the right, big step. Inhale, lift your arms and toes up, turn on your heels to the front of the mat. Right toes are straight in front of you, left toes are forward and out to the side, so 45 degree angle. So you can move the left hip forward, two hips next to each other. Inhale, reach up. Bring your chin to your chest and slowly start to round down. Look at your belly button, all the way down. Fingers in front of the toes into the mat. Bend the front knee to bring the forehead to your knee. Pull right hip back, bring the left hip forward. Press the back heel into the floor to straighten the back leg. Keep breathing. And draw your navel in and up towards the spine. Change, straighten the front leg and slowly round back up. Use your abdominals and look forward one moment. Turn on your heels to the side and turn on your heels to the back of the mat. Now the left toes are straight in front of you, right toes out and to the side. So you can move your right hip forward. Inhale, reach your arms up, bring your chin to the chest and slowly start to round down. Fingers in front of the toes into the mat, bend your front knee, forehead to the knee. So make sure you make this connection, this is the name of the pose. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. Contract your right thigh muscle, straight right leg. And draw your navel in and up to the spine. Change, straighten the front leg and slowly start to round back up. Use your abdominals, look forward for a moment. Turn your heels to the side, step the feet together, arms by your side. Second set, arms overhead, hands together. Cross only your thumbs, big step, right foot out to the right. Inhale, reach your arms and toes up, turn on your heels to the front of the mat. Right toes are straight in front of you, left toes to the side and forward. Bring the left hip forward, so two hips are next to each other. Inhale, reach your arms up, bring your chin to your chest and slowly start to round down. Take your time. The slower you go, the more the body learns. Fingers in front of the toes, forehead to the knee, so you're rounding the spine. Lift the back of the heart up to the ceiling. Press your back heel down. Chin to the chest. Look at your navel. Yes, that's it. Change, straighten the front leg and slowly round back up. Neck and head come last. And turn your heels to the side and turn your heels to the back. 
Now the left toes are straight in front of you, right toes out to the side and forward. Bring the right hip forward, two hips next to each other. Inhale, reach your arms up, bring your chin to the chest and slowly start to round down. So you're looking at your belly all the way down instead of forward. Yes, that's it. Nice reach. My fingers in front of the toes into the mat, forehead to the knee, knee to the forehead. Keep your back leg straight, so press the back heel into the floor. Draw the navel in, lifting the back of your heart up to the ceiling. Change and slowly start to round back up. Straighten the front leg first. Use your abdominals. Take a moment to look forward and turn on your heels to the side. Step your feet together, arms by your side. Nice. So take one turn back to the front of the mat. This is already the last standing pose. And then we will go down to the floor series. You're doing all very well. So feet together. First feel your hips above your ankles. Your shoulders above your hips. Lengthening the crown of the head up to the ceiling. And press the left heel into the floor. Contract your left thigh muscle. <laughs> and bend your right knee up. You can use both hands to lift the knee higher than hip level. You can stay here or reach for your ankle and grab the foot with the left hand. Bring it high to the left hip, knee goes to the right and down. If you can let go of the knee, if the knee is fine, right hand in front of the chest, knee is sensitive, you can hold it up with the right hand. So this is an option. Pull the shoulders down. Keep focusing on the strong standing leg. Yeah, that's good, Susanna. Just stay there, keep lengthening through the spine. Draw your navel in, keep your standing leg strong. Change, right knee up, right foot down. Out of sight, right foot into the floor, contract your right thigh muscle and butt cheek. Draw your navel in, lift your left knee up, higher than hip level. So you can use both hands. Maybe this is your option today. If you can go further, point your toes, grab the foot with the right hand, bring the foot high to the right hip. You can hold the knee with the left hand or let it go down if it's okay for the knee. Left hand in front of the chest. So you keep lengthening, hold, keep holding the foot with the right hand. Pull the shoulders down. That's it, draw the navel in. Change, left knee up, left foot down. Second set, press the light, left foot into the floor, strong left leg and lift your right knee up. You can use both hands. Point your toes, grab the foot with the left hand and the hand grip, bring it high to the left hip, knee goes to the side and down. Right hand in front of the chest. Maybe your right hip slightly forward, so two hips stay parallel. Pull the shoulders down, lengthen the neck. Keep your standing legs strong, concentrate, meditate one point ahead of you. Change, right knee up, right foot down. Press the right foot into the floor, contract your right thigh muscle and butt cheek, draw your navel in, lift your left knee up, use both hands, point your toes, grab the foot and the hand grip, right hand, knee goes to the left and down, left hand in front of the chest. Here, maybe left hip forward, so two hips stay parallel. Draw your navel in, lengthen, lift the chest. Pull the shoulders down. Concentrate, meditate, one point ahead of you. Change, left knee up, left foot down. Turn around, lie down on your mat. Your legs close to each other, feet will open naturally to the sides. Arms next to your body, hand palms up for Savasana. Maybe adjust your camera so I can still see you on the mat. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you already did the online yoga somewhere so you know. Okay. 
good. And then just take your Savasana irrigation pose, corpse pose, all these different names. So we practice complete stillness. This is also a pose. So try to ignore any itches or It's really a practice of complete stillness. Sometimes that's more challenging than doing the pose, than moving. And when your body is lying down like this, it's the least amount of energy for your heart to pump the blood round. So you gain the most energy for your floor series. Just focus on the breath. And inhale your belly and chest rise and on the exhale the belly and chest fall. Next pose is Bhavana Muktasana, rent removing pose. Bend your right knee, interlace the fingers on top of the knee, and pull the knee to the right shoulder, and press your left shoulder down. So two shoulders are equally pressed against the mat. Bring the chin down, so we look down, making a double chin, lengthening the back of the neck. And pull your shoulders down to your hips. Change right leg down, bend your left knee, interlace the fingers on top of the knee, pull knee to the left shoulder, and bring your right shoulder down. Chin to your chest, lengthening the back of the neck, pull the shoulders down towards your hips. Change left leg down. And bend both knees to your chest. Grab opposite elbows on top of the knees. If you can't reach your elbows, then your forearms or wrists. Bring your chin down to lengthen the back of the neck. So eventually here your neck, spine and tailbone are flat on the mat. Change both legs down, arms next to your body, hands up, and relax. Second set, bend your right knee, interlace the fingers on top of the knee, pull the knee to the right shoulder, press the left shoulder down, so two shoulders equally against the floor. Bring your chin down to lengthen the back of the neck. Pull your armpits down to your hips. Change right leg down. 
Bend your left knee, interlace the fingers on top of the knee, pull knee to the left shoulder, rest right shoulder down, broaden two shoulders against the floor. Chin to the chest, looking down towards your navel, pull shoulders down to your hips. Change left leg down and bend both knees to your chest and grab opposite elbows on top of the knees. If you can't reach your elbows, then your forearms or wrists, whatever is available for you. Then bring your chin down to lengthen the back of the neck and pull your shoulders down towards the hips. Neck, spine and tailbone flat on the mat. Change both legs down, arms next to your body. Relax in Savasana. Next pose is a sit-up. If you have a sensitive back or neck, you can skip the sit-up and just do the contraction of the ab abdominals with us and the exhale through the mouth twice. So bring the feet together, flex the toes towards you. Bring your arms overhead, cross your thumbs. And inhale, squeeze your inner thighs. Sit up, round your spine. Double exhale, <laughs> reach for the toes. So if you haven't done this before, it will come back a couple of times. So there's lots of time to practice. We'll turn around and lie down on the belly. For the back, back strengthening series, we start with Cobra Pose. Bhujangasana. Chin is on the mat, hands next to the shoulders, fingers in line with the tops of the shoulders, elbows point up to the ceiling. And squeeze your thighs together. One go breath till. Inhale through the nose, down to the toes, and peel your upper body slowly off the mat. 100% back strength here. So if you lift your hands off the mat, you're still up that high. So your elbows stay bent. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, lift your chin up, look up. Change, slowly lower down. Look to the left, uh, to the right, left ear on the mat. Arms by your side. Second set, chin on the mat, hands next to the shoulders, elbows up to the ceiling, so arms close to the rib cage, and the elbows are up, so the hands uh, lower, more lower down, uh, Rishma. Fingers in line with the top of the shoulders, yeah, a little lower even, and the hands on the floor. Yes, yeah, squeeze the legs together, that's it. I'll spring on poaches, yes. <laughs> Do the legs, squeeze the legs together. Inhale through the nose, down to the toes, and peel your upper body slowly off the mat. 100% back strength, shoulders away from the ears, lift your chest up, look up. Pull the elbows towards the hips, keep breathing. Change, slowly lower down, look to the left, arms by your side, relax. Every time we look right and then we look left, you also equally stretch the neck. At first you might have a preference and then over time it's equally comfortable. Salabhasana half locust pose. Chin on the mat, curl your toes under, lift your hips up and bring both arms underneath your body. So I can't do this with you because then I cannot um, talk about it. So <laughs> bring the arms under the body and I will tell you if you're doing it right. The thumbs are on the outside, you're lying. No, don't, don't copy me. You're lying on your belly. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna do it. So you lift your hips up, you bring your arms underneath your body, you're lying on top of your elbows. If your elbows are bent, then you bring the arms next to the body. So your arms are like you're playing volleyball, but you're lying down on the belly flat and on the arms. Yes, good. That's it. Then relax your left leg and straighten your right leg. 
Inhale, lift your right leg up, reach your toes back, press your hands against the floor. Good. Keep your chin on the mat, so don't look at the camera. It's safer for the neck. Good. Change. Right leg down. Relax your right leg, straighten the left leg. Inhale, lift your left leg up, reach your toes back. Yes. That's it. Nice, Rachel. Change. Left leg down. Now turn your mouth on the towel or on the mat, like you're kissing your mat, so your neck is in line with the spine for the next part with two legs. And keep it that way, so don't look at the camera, it's safe for the neck to just keep the mouth on the mat. Squeeze your legs together, thighs and ankles, inhale down to your toes and lift both legs off the mat. Roll the weight to the chest, squeeze your legs together, lift your legs up, beautiful everyone. Squeeze the legs together, lift the legs up, change. And slowly lower down, release your arms underneath your body. Look to the right, arms by your side, and relax. So just make sure you're also still breathing in the pose, instead of holding the breath, which happens a lot if we try to do our best. Just keep breathing. Maybe you can't go that high, but that's fine. Breath is more important. Second set, chin on the mat. Clear your toes under, lift your hips up and bring both arms underneath your body. Lay on top of your elbows, thumbs on the outside. Relax the left leg, straighten the right leg. Inhale, lift your right leg up, reach your toes back. Using the back strength, press your hands against the floor, breathe. Change, right leg down. Relax your right leg, straighten the left leg. Inhale, lift your left leg up, reach your toes back, press your hands against the floor. That's it, keep breathing. Change, left leg down. Turn your mouth on the mat if it wasn't there yet, so your neck is in line with your spine. Reach your hands closer to the knees and spread the fingers on the floor, so you have a good grip on the floor. And squeeze your legs together. Inhale, through the nose, down to your toes, and lift both legs up. Where's your breath now? Keep breathing. Squeeze the legs together. Straighten the leg. Reach your toes back and press your hands against the floor. Change. Slowly lower down. Release your arms underneath your body. Look to the left and relax. On the inhale, your back is rising. On the exhale, your back folds. Purna Salabhasana, full locust pose. Chin on the mat, stretch your arms out to the side. If you don't have enough space where you are, you can also stretch your arms to the back. And keep your chin on the mat, squeeze your legs together, thighs and ankles. Then squeeze the legs together, inhale. Lift the chest, arms, legs off the mat. So we're back bending away from the floor. Lift the chin up. Fly away like dragonflies. Squeeze the legs together. Lift the legs up. Lift your chest higher than the legs. And stretch your hands to the sides of your room. Change. And slowly come down. Look to the right. Arms by your side. Second set, chin on the mat, spread your arms out to the side, your wings, good. Squeeze the legs together, thighs, ankles, inhale, lift your chest, arms, legs off the mat. You're balancing on the hip bones. So stretch your hands more to the side if you can. Squeeze the legs together, lift your leg, chest up, stretch your arms out to the side, good Susanna, lift your chest up, chin up, look up, fly away. Change and slowly come down. Look to the left. Arms by your side, relax. Mm -hmm. 
Dhanurasana on bow pose. Bring your chin on the mat. Bend your knees and grab your feet from the outside. Four, five fingers between the toes and the ankles. And bring your knees close behind your hips. So knees towards each other. Relax your shoulders to the mat. And inhale. Bring your hip bones to the floor and kick your feet into your hands. Strength of the kick. Lift your chest and your thighs off the mat. You're balancing on the soft part of your belly. Bring knees closer together. Relax your shoulder blades towards each other. Look up, chin up, kick your feet into your hands. Change and slowly come down. Look to the right. Relax on your belly. So after every action, a relaxation so your body can learn also to switch off again. Second set. Chin on the mat, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside. All five fingers between your toes and ankles. Bring your knees close together. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Bring your hip bones to the mat and kick your feet into your hands. Strength of the kick. Lift your chest off the mat. Lift your thighs off the mat. That's it. Look up, chin up. Relax your shoulders and arms as much as you can. The strength comes out of the legs. Kick your feet into your hands. Look up. Change and slowly lower down. Look to the left, arms by your side, relax. Next is Sukta Fidrasana Fixed Firm Pose. Bring your hands next to the shoulders and press yourself up onto hands and knees and come to the top of the mat. So we have practiced this one in posture breakdown. So that might help now. Bring your knees together, heels are wider than the hips, toes straight behind you. And slowly bring your hips back in between your heels. If you feel any pressure or pain in the knees, keep your hands on the floor and support yourself, stay there, this is your pose. If the knees are fine and you can go further back, if the ankles are fine, you can sit here. So there's no space in between your heels and your hips. If you can go further, hands to the feet, fingers forward, inhale, lift your chest, chin to the chest and come to the elbows, one by one. The knees start to come off the mat, come one step, back out of the pose, the knees are still on the mat, you can go all the way back to the shoulder blades in the back of the head, then go ahead and grab your elbows overhead and pull the shoulders down to the hips. So also these are all options, all steps, you don't have to go to the ultimate expression, it's all about how your body feels. If you're all the way down, bring the chin down. Wherever you are in the pose, press your toes, ankles and knees against the floor. Change. Hands on the feet, press the elbows into the mat. First the chest up, then neck and head. Come back onto hands and knees, turn around, lie down on your back in Savasana. Second set. Bring the feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. So you draw the navel in and while you're coming forward that way, the air is pushed out. Like, that's why it's twice, just by the pressing of the belly. Okay, turn around, come to standing hands and knees, knees together. Heels wider than the hips, toes point straight behind you and slowly sit your hips back in between your heels. If you need to support yourself on your hands, stay there. Hands on the feet, if you go further, inhale, lift your chest, chin to the chest, come onto the elbows one by one. You can stay here. If you go further, into the back of the head and the shoulder blades. 
chin to the chest and grab the elbows overhead. Pull the shoulders down. So always make sure the knees are safe. If you feel something, it's a message from your knees. And then you come out of the pose. Good. Change and slowly reverse back out of the pose step by step. Turn around, lie down on your back and relax in Savasana. Adekub Asada, half, half tortoise pose, feet together, flex the toes towards you, bring the arms overhead and cross your thumbs, and squeeze your inner thighs, inhale, sit up round your spine, double exhale, reach for the toes, and turn around, come to the back of the mat, knees together, hips on your heels, if you're not able to sit on your knees, you can always stand, on the knees and bring arms overhead hands together and cross only your thumbs straight arms next to your face inhale lift your chest and slowly come forward with a straight spine so you reach forward all the way down pinkies on the mat maybe your forehead if your forehead is not touching the mat you keep the arms next to the ears Elbows off the mat, only the pinkies touch. That's it. On each inhale, you reach a little forward. On each exhale, you move your hips closer to the heels, lengthening the spine. Inhale, squeeze your knees, stretch your arms out and forward, then slowly come back up at a straight spine. Turn your hands out, arms by your side. Turn around, lie down on your back, and relax in Savasana. Second set, feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale, reach for the toes. Turn around, come to sit on your knees, heels together, hips on the heels. Arms overhead, hands together, cross only the thumbs. Inhale, lift your chest and slowly come forward. You can lift your hips from the heels if you need to, to keep the spine straight. And pinkies on the mat, forehead on the mat. Keep your chin away from the chest. So you're looking at your mat instead of your knees. Yes, nice correction, Rishma. That's it. So you're lengthening the neck in line with the spine. Inhale, squeeze your knees together, stretch your arms out and forward and slowly come back up with a straight spine. Turn your hands out, arms by your side, turn around, lie down on your back and relax in Savasana. So this is the closing sequence of the series. And we started just by lengthening the spine next one will be the last back bend camel pose ustrasana feet together flex your toes arms over head cross your thumbs inhale squeeze your inner thighs sit up round your spine double exhale then turn around come to stand on the knees your head distance so the knees are under the hip bones and not like the width of the hips, but under the hip bones. Maybe less wide than you think. Hands on the lower back, thumbs on the outside. And inhale, lift your chest, chin up, and slowly bend back. If this is enough, you can stay here. You can just keep lengthening, lifting, looking up. If you can go further, then send your hips forward. If you can reach for your heels, try first one hand, then maybe the other hand. Make sure your hips stay on top of the knees. If you can't keep the 
hips on top of the knees and just keep the hands on the lower back. Keep lifting from the chest. Look up, breathe through the nose, change. And bring one hand to the lower back then the other, straighten the spine, sit your hips down, turn around, lie down on your back and relax. So it's pretty normal to feel a little nauseous or dizzy in this pose. It's a big heart opener and a movement we hardly ever do in our daily lives. So just breathe through the nose and the body will know what to do to equalize everything again. Second set, feet together, flex the toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, inhale, squeeze your thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. And turn around, come to sit on your knees, stand on the knees, hands on the lower back, thumbs on the outside, so the fingers point down. Inhale, lift your chest and chin up. And slowly bend back, just as far as feels good to you today. Send your hips forward, lift the chest if you go further, then bend back. So just like the first back bend, you keep thinking about length in the spine. And on the exhale, maybe bend back a little more. Reach for the heels if you can. And send the hips forward. Lift from the chest, keep breathing. Come out of the pose, one hand to the lower back, then the other, straighten the spine. Sit your hips down on the heels and turn around, lie down on your back. Savasana. So from this back bend, we move to a forward bend, Sasangasana red pose. Feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, brush your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. Good. Turn around, come to sit on your knees. Hips on the heels. Hands on the lower back, thumbs on the outside. So like you let your hands slide in your back pockets. That's how you grab your heels. Inhale, lift the chest. Bring your chin to the chest and slowly start to round down. Look at your belly all the way down. Bring the forehead against the knees. Crown of the head on the mat. So without looking at me. Yes, lift the hips up. And roll the weight forward. But little weight is on your head. You use the weight is in the arms and legs. Lift the hips up, press the fingers into the heels, press your arms against your thighs and lift your shoulders away from the ears, up to the ceiling. Yes, nice, Jorina. Change and slowly round back up. Neck and head come up last and turn around, lie down on your back, relax in Savasana. Second set, feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your thighs, sit up, double exhale. Reach for the toes. Turn around, come to sit on your knees, heels together, hips on the heels, hands on the lower back, thumbs on the outside. Inhale, lift your chest, bring your chin to the chest and slowly round down. Bring your forehead against your knees, the crown of your head touches the mat and lift your hips up and roll forward. Press the fingers and the heels, arms against your thighs. Shoulders away from the ears, that's it Rachel. So forehead against the knees. Yes, that's it. Small round package you are. A little rabbit. Change and then slowly round back up. Neck and head come up last. And turn around, let on your back, relax. Savasana. 
Two more poses and a breathing exercise. Janya Shirasana, Pashimottanasana, rounding spine and spine straightening pose. Feet together, flex the toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. Reach your hands to the toes. Then turn around if you need to, maybe you're already on the right side of the mat, and bring your right heel to the right corner of the mat, and bend your left knee, foot on the inside of the right thigh. And flex the right toes towards you, bring your arms overhead, and interlace the fingers. Wide grip. Inhale, lift the chest, turn to the right, and slowly round down, bring the fingers over the ball of the foot, bend your right knee if you need to, to grab the foot and to bring the forehead to the knee. Bring the left shoulder down, two shoulders parallel to the floor and keep breathing through the nose. So you can bend the right knee, Susanna, so you can grab the foot. So this knee can be bent. Yeah, good. That's it. Change. And come back up, switch your legs, left heel to the corner of the mat, bend your right knee, foot on the inside of the thigh. Inhale, lift the chest, turn to the left and round down. Fingers over the ball of the foot, right shoulder down. Two shoulders parallel to the floor. Bend the left knee if you need to, to make the forehead to knee connection. Pressing your third eye against your knee, good. I will never say this in a Bikram school, but here I can. And then come back up, straight, straighten both legs in front of you. Lie down if you do the sit up, when the shoulder blades touch, immediately another sit up, a double exhale. And grab the big toes with your middle finger, index finger, and thumb. So the two piece fingers are in between the first and second toe. And walk your sit bones, sit. Right, left to sit more straight. So you're walking the flesh back. If you feel your spine is rounding a lot, bend your knees a little more. Yeah, that's it. Inhale, lift the chest and come forward. So in this part of the pose, the spine is straight. Inhale, lift the chest, come forward. Pull the shoulders back, chest forward. Look forward. Change and come back up. Lie down on your back, relax in Savasana. Second set, feet together, flex the toes, arms over head, press your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs. Sit up, round your spine, double exhale. Turn around if you need to and bring the right heel to the right corner of the mat. Bend your left knee foot on the inside of the right thigh. Arms overhead, interlace your fingers, flex your toes. Inhale, lift the chest, turn to the right and round down. Fingers over the ball of your foot, forehead to your knee, left shoulder down. Draw your navel in and up. Keep breathing. Good. Change. Slowly come up and switch your legs. Left heel to the corner of the mat, bend your right knee. Foot inside, left thigh. Inhale, lift the chest, turn to the left, slowly round down. Fingers over the ball of your foot, right shoulder down, forehead to your knee. Maximum rounding of the spine. That's it. Change, come back up, straighten both legs in front of you, lie down until the shoulder blades touch. Another sit up, reach for the toes, double exhale, and grab your big and second, only your big toe, with your middle finger, index finger, and thumb. Work your sit bones, right, left. Inhale, lift the chest, come forward from the hips. So imagine doing this movement without your arms. So only with the back muscles, lift the chest and come forward from your lower back, middle back and then the upper back. 
change. Lie down in Savasana, turn around, lie down. Yes, that's it. Adam Chandrasana half spine twisting pose. Feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. And inhale, squeeze your thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. And take a quarter turn to the side of your mat, so you're at the long edge of your mat. This pose we only do once. Bring the left knee in front of you in line with your navel and nose. And step your right foot over the left knee. So the left foot is next to the right hip. Make sure the right foot is flat on the mat. And press the right sit bone down so you can sit more straight. Then inhale, lift your left arm up, lengthen. Turn to the right, press the right knee out to the side and grab the other knee or your mat. So you have something to hold on to. So you can't reach the knee, then the mat. Reach your right arm all around your back, hand on the outside of the left hip. Inhale, lift your chest and turn, twist, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, turn and twist. Change, come back to the center. Switch your legs, right knee in front of you, left foot over the right knee. The heel and knee touch each other. Make sure the left foot is flat on the mat, left sit bone down. Inhale, lift your right arm up, lengthen, turn to the left, press the left knee out to the side and grab the other knee on your mat. And stretch your left arm around your waist, hand on the outside of the left hip. Inhale, lift your chest, turn, twist, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, lift your chest, turn, twist. Change, turn back to the center, turn around, lie down on your back and relax. Last setup of today. Feet together, flex the toes towards you, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, sit up, round your spine, double exhale. And come to sit on your knees for a couple body breaths of fire. So by all the, all the compressions and stretching, we have been massaging the internal organs and CO2 has been released in the lungs. And that's why we do the breathing exercise to bring the CO2 out of the lungs and clean out the lungs at the end of class. You can straighten your arms, hands on your thighs and let your belly relax. So this is the only pose where we just let the belly hang and then when you pull the navel, air comes out by itself, mouth is slightly open and there we go. Three, two, one, change. Relax your shoulders. Second set is a little faster. Just straighten the arms, relax your belly, and begin. Three, two, one, change and turn around, lie down for your final savasana. So use a blanket if you need to. Hi, little doggy of Rachel. He's so happy. 
you were panting like a dog, yes, <laughs> then just relax in your savasana. Arms can be wider, legs can be wider if you like to. And you can close your eyes now. And just sink into the mat completely. Well done, everyone. Take a moment to thank yourself for your practice. Thanking yourself for what your body is all capable of. And just relax completely into the mat, into the floor, into the earth. So take at least three to five minutes for your body to integrate all that you just did. The only thing you need to do is completely relax. Drink lots of water throughout the day. If you have any questions, I'll be here a little longer. And otherwise you can always leave them in the comments as well. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Namaste.